Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that a particle P of mass 3 kilograms moves from the point A to point B up a line of greater slope of a fixed rough plane. And the plane is inclined at 20 degrees to the horizontal. The coefficient of friction between P and the plane is 0.4. And given that AB is 15 metres and that the speed of P at A is 20 metres per second, we've got to find the work done against friction as P moves from A to B for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, what I'd want to do is draw a sketch for this. And I've started the sketch here where we've got the plane inclined at 20 degrees. The distance from A to B is 15 metres. And the particle is of mass 3 kilograms. And it's also projected up the plane from A at 20 metres per second. Now I've still yet to add to this diagram. I need to add the forces acting on the particle. Well. There'll always be the weight of the particle, so that's going to act downwards. So we'll just have that in. Mass is 3 kilograms, so the weight is going to be 3g newtons. There'll be normal contact force from the plane. That would be the reaction, which I'll call R, R newtons there. Now, because it's being projected up the plane and it's a rough plane, there's going to be friction acting in the opposite direction to motion. And that's going to be mu r because it's limiting. We're told that the coefficient of friction is 0.4. So I'm just going to write here 0.4 times r, mu r then. And that's the frictional force. Now they're the only forces acting on the particle. The other thing I'd want to do is just draw a dotted line in here and mark in that this angle in here is 20 degrees, the same angle as the plane. So how are we going to get this work done against friction? Well, the work done against friction, work done just generally, is going to be the force times distance moved. And when it comes to the frictional force, the work done by friction, we need to multiply this frictional force, 0.4r, by the distance from A to B, 15 metres. Problem is, we don't know r at the moment. So we need to get that. And we can do that just by simply resolving then perpendicular to the plane. And resolving perpendicular to the plane is going to give me r minus the component of the weight into the plane, which is going to be minus 3g times cosine of angle 20 degrees. That's my resultant force. It's in equilibrium perpendicular to the plane, so it's going to equal 0. Rearranging this for r, r would therefore equal 3g cosine of 20 degrees. And if you work this out, taking g to be 9.8, you end up with R equaling 27.626 and so on. And that'll be measured then in Newtons. So we're now in a position to therefore get the work done against friction. OK, work done against friction. Just put that intro in there. And the work done then against friction, force times distance, is going to obviously then be 0.4 times r times the distance moved, which is 15 meters. And if we substitute for r in here, we got 0.4 then times 27.626 and so on, multiplied with 15. And the answer you get is 165.76 and so on which if we give this to three significant figures is going to be 166 the units would be joules and i'll just put there three significant figures 3sf for short okay